Hey everyone! Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today, we're going to explore the wonderful world of React Native and Expo as we build a sleek notes app. If you're ready to take your mobile app development skills to the next level, you're in the right place. Alright, let's kick things off by setting up our development environment in Visual Studio Code. If you haven't installed Node.js and NPM, go ahead and do that now. Once you're ready, open VS Code and let's install the Expo CLI globally using NPM. To install Expo CLI globally, give the command npm install gexpo cli. Once installed, check the version using the command npm expo version. Now let's add template app in the folder. In the VS Code terminal, write the code npx create expo app template and then select the option blank in and hit enter, give proper name for the app, and proceed further. Once completed this will automatically add expo and npm files for React Native app development in the folder. As you can see, we have various files and folders in our project. The app.js file is where our main application logic resides. It's the heart of our app. Now, let's move on to running our app locally. To run our app locally, we need to start the Expo development server. Use the command npm start in your terminal. Expo will start a server and also you will be able to view a QR code in the terminal. You can test and make changes and Expo will handle the live reloading. Now comes the fun part, testing on smartphones. We'll use Expo Go for this. Head to your phone's app store, download Expo Go and open it. Sign up to the app. Also open the Expo website in the browser and log in into it, this will be useful at later stage. Now once logged in into the app on smartphone, scan the QR code on your VS Code terminal using Expo Go. Your app magically appears on your phone, and any changes you make will reflect instantly. With our app up and running, let's start adding some features. We'll implement basic functionalities like adding, editing, and deleting notes. Feel free to get creative here and customize it to suit your preferences. For sake of this video and simplicity, I have put all the codes in app.js file. You can use proper file structure for development. Now as we can see that this is a very basic app with features to add notes, delete and edit them along with some other features. I have deliberately made this app simple to use without any kind of steep learning curve. Also you can use generative AI to code the app and help in the overall process. But remember it is important to first learn at least the basics of the technology, because there will be times when we have to do debugging on our own in the code and understanding what each line of code means will make the process much more faster. Alright, you've built a fantastic app, and now you want to share it with the world. Let's convert it into an Android APK. Expo makes this process incredibly simple. We'll use the npx eace build p android command to start the build process. The system will give some query that we will need to select, for our first app we will leave everything as it is. Now in the Expo website we can see that the build is running, this complete process will take some time. We can make sure that our build is running properly from the Expo website as well as the terminal. Also in the terminal the link for the build will be already available, just press Ctrl on keyboard and left click, it will open a new tab in browser. Once finished you can download the APK file from the download button here. You can now share this file to your device and run it like a proper app without having to use Expo Go server. Congratulations on reaching this point. You've just scratched the surface of what you can achieve with Expo and React Native. Now, take what you've learned and start customizing your app. And remember, there's always more to explore and learn in the world of React Native. Hey coding fam! Thanks for tuning in today. If this tutorial sparked your coding joy, hit that like button, let's aim for a quick 3 or 4 likes. If you're new, join us by subscribing and ringing the bell for future coding adventures. Quick chat in the comments, drop your thoughts, questions, or what you want next. Your feedback drives our content. Feel free to share the coding love with your pals, sharing is caring. Alright, that's it for now, I'm Sirwaish, signing off. Happy coding, and catch you in the next one.